Delta, and welcome back to another episode of the Sofa World SMP series. Uh, right now, I'm a tiny bit sick myself in real life. <laughs> I've got a tiny bit of a cold, so you may be able to tell or not. It's just, um, it's just blocked up. But, um, yeah, I'll, it should be fine in terms of my commentary skills. It should be still up to subpar. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we had some plans today with some pretty cool stuff that I wanted to go start working on at least. Um, one consists of a slime farm. I managed to find a 2x2 two two slime chunks together, so four slime chunks within 2x2, two two, uh, which is really sweet. I Because um, now at 1.3, we can now uh, find our seed by typing in slash backwards slash seed, and it allows us to find the seed and put it in, plug it into a program that actually t tells you where slime chunks are. So I did that. It's a bit cheaty, but I did it anyway. Um, as you can see, we've, uh, I've got ender pearls on me, um, and that's because we've, we've actually built an ender farm. So I didn't actually record most of it, I just recorded stages of it myself and Kirk built it, along with help from Jamie and Kushi. Um, uh, so we did that, um, everyone, or at least some people have donated um, parts, which I'll show you soon in the video. So right now, I guess we'll cut to the video of uh, us, us building it. Hey guys, welcome to the Ender Farm. So, it's currently being worked on there by myself and Kirk. Kirk's down there, well, he was at least, he's, down, he's collecting some supplies. Um, but yeah, it's going quite well. We're right now, I'm just uh, doing the top layer. We'll do a couple layers, maybe the first couple of days, and we'll see how much resources we've got. Um, this has been, oh, most of these have been, I guess, donated by uh, everyone in the community. So for now, at least myself, Kirk, BJ, and Kushi have donated. Uh, we're after obviously more soon for other levels and whatnot. But we're getting there. Um, I'm just, it's enemy and really, a, really, a really big pain. So we're getting there, like I said. And hopefully we'll, I won't be too long, I guess, to complete this entire build. Um, so yeah, so what I'll do is I'll probably do some more progress updates throughout the stage and we will uh, catch you then, so I'll see you then. Alrighty guys, so um, yeah, I've I've done the first level, my meme and care have done the first level. Uh, right now I've got a platform there that they're falling on, it's just so like if, if I fall myself I won't die, uh, so that's pretty good. So first level's done. We plan to do roughly about 10 or so, as many as we can fit in the 128 height limit. Uh, as you see, we start at 20 and go up from there. So yeah, um, I'm going to die. But uh, yeah, it's going quite well. I'll, I'll obviously do some more recaps later on. Um, but other than that, it's yeah, it's, it's actually going really quite well. Um, so yeah, we're going to grab the more resources and I guess we'll do more levels and we'll be back. Alrighty guys, um, so we are, uh, I've done four layers now, Kirk's just uh, gone and done a massive uh, cave expedition for a couple of hours and went and got iron and redstone and everything for this, uh, I still need more supplies from the guys, so I'm asking around uh, to do that generously and I'll obviously put in a fair bit myself more, um, but yeah we're going quite well, I've died several hundred times, <laughs> um, so now I'm wearing this very nifty pumpkin to stop stop these guys from uh, having a fit when I watch when I look at them. But uh yeah it's getting there. Um so I just want to head down and show you it from uh, afar. But yeah, so plan for ten levels at least or as much as I can do within the build limit. Um and so I think I think we're going on on track to get ten or so. I have to, I have to double check my my math. But yeah, we're going quite well. Um, it's fairly wide compared to the uh, the regular uh, what uh, what Dockham's video had. I think it's Dockham's was uh, let me. I think it was f it was seventeen. So it was seven. On, uh, it was eight on each side plus the one in the middle. I think ours is fifteen on each side plus the one in the middle. So it's nearly double the size in terms of the width, um, nearly. So I should increase some rates at least. Um, but as you can see, let me just turn that off and walk back a bit. Um, it's getting there. That's going to be quite cool once we get it all on. That platform obviously will be gone once uh, once it's all sorted. But yeah, we're having an amazing rate so far, so it won't be long until we actually uh, 
see how much I fall, how fast over we can get up to level 30 at least. So yeah, so I'll, what I'll do now is I'll keep on working on it and hopefully we'll be back with a, a larger progress this time. So yep, see you in a bit. Alrighty guys, we are done. Entire structure is done. We've added the rings to keep them in. I just gotta finish up this ladder, fix up the ladder on the side and remove that. But other than that, we are done. Kirk's just removing the temporal platform that we made. Um, we made a little base here. This is temporal until we make it down there properly. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty much done. Um, all we're gonna do now is just fix, fix up little bits, add a room down here. We want a watermelon farm, a chanting room, um, and some storage. Got some a major stink. So let's see if I can go over there before Kirk destroys all this. Um, just so I can show you some of the rates. Um, we have to still light up a lot of the, not light up, but we still have to still fix this spawning issue where they can spawn outside and everything, so I have to put water down. Um, all of a sudden, I'm not spawning there, just as we started recording. But, um, yeah, it's working fantastic. We've got a whole bunch of uh, chests full of everything. Uh, of, of Ana Pearls already. We haven't done any, any XP farming, so we'll do, we'll do a video on that eventually to see how the XP farming goes. Um, but yeah, so I'm not too sure why they're not spawning actually. All of a sudden, as soon as I start recording, they uh, stop spawning. But um, yeah, so I'll probably be back with just some more um, updates and we'll catch you later. So it took a, it took a fair while actually. The entire, entire farm took longer than I thought. Doc him did a 45 minute video and it took us like 45 hours to do. I don't know how long it took us, but it took us a fair while. But um, yeah, it's still not done yet. We've still got to do the actual bottom pad. We've still got to do the actual like landing pad, the track, the um, the farms that are around it, um, and everything like that. But now we have at least for now an abundance of uh, ender pearls, so I can finally do some um, finally do some things that I've been wanting to do for a while, and that is uh, clean these bits up on around the um, the bottom of the. Uh, of the spawn system, we've got parts that have also got creepers and stuff spawning there. Um, I originally put oh, on some, one side only, I, I got lazy and I only did one side, but there's half slabs right there and right there to stop people spawning. So um, I don't have a crafting table anywhere, so I'll have to make one as we do. Look at that achievement! Awesome. Um, we'll make a couple. That should be enough. So, I'll put half subs just above there. And it's the only way I can I think, think of uh, stopping it, obviously, if I can put the torches down. Now, there's a creeper right there. I don't want to blow him up, so I might have to get my, my bow and arrow, which I will do now. But yeah, so I've been turning it on as of recently because I started running out of, uh, out of gunpowder. I, I was trading it all up, and everyone was buying it. <laughs> And so, yeah, I started running out, so I had to start turning them on again. So let me find an arrow bow that'll punch, that'll do. I have so many enchanted bows because I just have random levels lying around. Like, like I've got 12 right now, and I'll just enchant them for the sake of it. So don't, if I die, I don't lose them. So at least have it invested somehow. <laughs> but um, let's kill this, this creeper. I'm not very good at the bow, that's a bit too high. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. There you go. One more. Yeah. Okay, so let's get up there now. Um. Well, shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I can do this. I can do this, guys. Let's try this. Man, my I'm stomach, I'm, I'm sick, and I'm full, and I'm hungry at the same time, and it's just, uh, Okay. We can do this. We've got everything, got half slabs, nope. Got... Yep, I think, I think we can make it. I think we can make it. Maybe we'll aim it much higher. Yeah, yeah, that's how we do it. Alright. I want to get rid of that, and then I guess we have to do this. Like 
so. And then we go down and kill ourselves. So what I have to do is quickly change. Nope. <laughs> That's one side done. I'll do the rest of the side off camera because that was like a, uh, a chore and a half to get that done. And I want to put you guys through it again. And after that, I think we'll start working on some projects. All right, that's done. Uh, I just thought while we're here, I'll quickly discuss some uh, plans I have. I I want to extend this this farm out. It's just too short or too narrow. Um, it's something simple. That's what I just want to talk about it. That's all I wanted to do. Um, because it's so simple, I can do off camera. But we have a fair bit of room right here. I'm not going to really use it for anything else. Maybe by tree planting. But I want to pull just this section out. That one, the uh, the reed farm. I don't really want to pull out, but. As you can see, we've kind of got this flat area up until here, so I may pull it out about here, just to let you guys know. So, if you ever see the, uh, in the next episode, the farm's all, all, all of a sudden massive, just because of that, I pulled it out. Uh, I still have to fix up this uh, table setup for enchanting things below level 30, as you can see. I always get 30, even on the, on the, even on the basic one, so I'll see what I can do with that. Um, and yeah, so, we've got... And the chest set up, it's working fine. Got all this set up. Downstairs is working great. So what we're gonna do then now is check out this slime chunk. Now the chunk itself is a fair it's a tiny bit away from my actual um my base, but I don't mind that. Um now I couldn't I've been looking at some plans um in another world of my creative world and how to actually build this. Now Etho made a an alright slime chunk design. I say alright, much better than I could ever do, but um, it uses lava blades to cut off the actual slimes and make them smaller so they can fit down a hole. And um, I think they get travel up or down ladders, I can't remember how that works, I'll have to double check it. But um, yeah, that works, it works really good, and um, so what I'll, I'll build something like that. He has a, uh, a shut off system for it, so it uses water to shut it off, however mine Mine will not because mine is two two times two pads. So he has one pad and then you can use it and shut off with water, whereas mine's too big. Now you can see the chunks are loading exactly on the border of where I've where I've actually done it. That's an easy way to tell that I've done it right. Um, but I've outlined it in um, Netherrack so you can see exactly where it is. It took me a while to get it right. Like I got it slightly off. I look at my coordinates slightly off, but yeah, right now it hasn't spawned anything, but it does quite, work quite well. I'm a bit dubious that it actually used 2x2 slime trunks because I thought it'd be working better than that, but for now it's it's working alright. Um, I guess I have to be in the area for a bit for it to work, and because my base is so far out that way, it doesn't really load it. But uh, yeah, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4 chunks, and I want to go all the way up to level 40. I think they stopped spawning it, and right now we're at 12, 11. Um, so I want to go down to about 8. Also, like Etho did in his, and then we can have underneath wiring and everything set up. I don't want to have much wiring, so I'm thinking about even going further down. But I want about six or seven, six or so levels uh, that, that uh, things can spawn in. Now, um, the slimes can spawn in one, two, three by three by two. Three, the biggest ones. I think it's the medium ones, three by three by two. The next one's two by two. Or so, I can't remember. But I've done a four high ceiling here, but the next pad would start literally here and go along, um, and vice versa. And then we'd have the collecting chambers on the side, and everything would be all hunky dory. So, um, I'll also show you why I can't actually shut it off with water, or why the way Etho did it didn't work, doesn't work, and. So what we're going to do is uh, quickly jump up to my, one of my creative worlds and check that out now. Alright, so I've built a basic template of my actual slime farm itself. Just minus this first. Um, and they're not working. There we go. But, um, yeah, so the rings around it represent where the actual... Another racker, these are obviously the pads. Now, Etho, because his pad was only one by one, he was able to put like these here, and well, roughly the, the one over here. Um, he used pistons instead, because at this point in time, um, these weren't, this wasn't 1.3, so he couldn't actually do it. And we can place water buckets in here, 
and then place a lever. My stomach is absolutely growling because I don't know why my sickness, I guess. But then he's out, he's doing it like that and like that. Come on now. And that would magically meet up and he would have it so it's all nice and hunky dory and everything. And we'll do it even here. And he's allowed to do that, but however, mine is just too big and I can't have his in the middle because these obstruct the actual the path itself. And so. Right now, I'm going to not worry about taking it off. Um, simply because my base is so far away, I don't mind that they'll be spawning as long as um, they're unloaded at the time and not people are sticking around too far. And like, If people come close to this and start building their base near my base and it starts loading these chunks, which I doubt would happen, I might have to t make a shutoff system um, by using water somehow. I don't know how I'd do it. Maybe block swapping. I don't know. But, um... Uh, one thing, one way I could think about doing it is um, having uh, one source coming down and, and come through holes, alternating holes, and uh, it's, it's a bit complicated, so I have to work it out. But right for now, I'm actually happy not having any water shut off systems um, put in. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool that we can do this now and actually have um, the min stored in like that, and we can uh, we can get to work like so. But yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. Not having any shutoff system, so right now it's going to be a big, big pad. Now it works on the idea that, that slimes always kind of go to the corner, um, and what happens? I think the way Ether, uh, I've double checked his videos, Ether's video, so I'll put a link in the video in the description. He has a hole like that, and what happens is he has like lava blades that stick out, I think here, and so when big chunk would when big slimes come out here, they jump into lava, they die, and so does the medium ones. I'm not too sure how, how it works, but the small ones die somehow, and then they go down the hole, and they'll collect. So you have one in each corner, and it works like that. So I'll have to work it out, get it all sorted, but one thing we need to do is clear out the entire area, or the entire chunk area, and this needs to go up like 40 to XY or Y40 at least, so we can get the maximizer spawning. So, yep, yeah, we'll go back to the other world. So we're back. Um, gee, he just spawned. Uh, not my sword. All right. Um, so another thing I want to do because it's it's so close to the ground, we have the void. No, not void. But we have the void fog. Um, yeah, the void fog. I think it's good. And I don't like it. So what I want to do is actually dig um, slight like skylights up to the ceiling every now and then. To let, let some light in. Now, this will be all probably around the outside because the pads will be in the way, obviously. So I'll have to work things out properly, but it's just an idea at least. Now, on each corner, um, it's kind of hard to see because of the void fog. But I've actually dug all the way up to level 40, so I think that's right. Or maybe higher. I have to, I have to work it out. But um, that's how high it will be, past a tiny bit more, obviously, because they have to spawn top of that. Um, so it's. It's approximately impossible to go down, say, another four or five levels down below as well. So they're sorted. So I want to. I actually needed a fair bit of cobblestone. I've got like none. I'm running out. I think whatever's in this chest is my main supply. And that's not really much. It's about two double chests, maybe. And so what I have to do is I probably will dig most of this out by hand, maybe? Oh, I don't know. We've got TNT. We've got, I've got a stack of TNT. So maybe I'll use that until that runs out and then I'll just have to go. I'll have to go back to using um, my picks. Uh, I've got a 50 picks. I've got like a, a, like a, literally a double chest full of um, enchanted picks. I've just been enchanting crazy since 1.3. Um, and so I've been going like crazy like that and getting time to pick. So I got, I think there's some more right picks that I could use for this. I've got so many bloody fortune ones. I told it, they said that fortune was actually um, reduced. But I, I have, I think about nine fortune picks or something with fortune in it or Silk Touch. I have about nine Silk Touch, which it's just like... I know they actually um, raise the chances of getting Silk Touch and um, Fortune together, but I don't like using... I don't like using a pick if, if it's got Fortune or Silk Touch on it. I like kind of saving it for the specific needs, but all my picks are becoming Silk Touch and Fortune, so I'm starting to have to use those now. But... Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll work things out. So what I'm going to do is I'll get some TNT set up down here, maybe. I didn't bring it with me, like, as I am. The best plan in the world. But, um... 
yeah, we'll get things sorted and we'll have some fun with TNT. As it's always fun to have TNT fun. Fun, fun, fun. Alright. Two six. I thought we'd do something quickly fun, just before we do some TNT fun. You know, fun before fun's always good. Um, so I've, I just, I had a, I had a big room here, so I thought, what perfect thing I could do is, uh, fill it up with redstone. So I've got all my redstone that I collected recently, and I've just dumped it in here. I've also got all my, um, what's that called, that, that useless block, i oh, coal, yeah, um, that's done. I've also just moved my chest area back here, just, just so I can get out of the way, explosions and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I'm interested to see how this goes. So this, this is a, a one thick, and it, it's one thick by whatever that is, and then two there, and then three high, and yeah, and then this one's huge. This one's a whole block this thick. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's actually not. It's, it's hollow. Don't worry. <laughs> um... Jeez, I don't have all sorts of there. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll want to time lapse it and see how much I get. Um, I'm running out of food. So I have to use this zombie flesh. But yeah, I want to speed this up a bit and we'll see how much we actually uh, get out of everything. So I've got a fish fortune 3 pick. So I'll touch one out there. I realise I, I have a silk touch 1, efficiency 4, a breaking 3, which is amazing so I'll, have to, I'll use that eventually but anyway let's get the show on the road So, um, it would have been good to count the exact amount of, amount, amount of blocks that I actually had beforehand, but I wasn't, I didn't plan that, I wasn't that smart. But we got a fair bit, I think I had about two and a half, oh, so one and a half stacks of, uh, redstone, and I had one, uh, one, two and a half of coal, obviously coal doesn't yield as much, but still a fair bit, that's, that's, oh, what, six stacks there, roughly, and that's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's 11 and a quarter, roughly. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I really love Fortune and I, I now only go mining with Silk Touch and there's Fortune later on and get it there. So what I'll do now, like I said before, I'll get TNT rigged up to explode and we'll have fun. I haven't seen a single slime spawn yet and it's kind of really concerning me that I've got the chunks wrong, but you know what, who cares? All right, be back. All right, uh, we've got TNT set up. I went up to the top layer, just so you guys know, you're probably a bit disorientated. As you can see, we've got a slime. That's right, we have slimes. Um, so we're in the top layer right now. This is the layer I was talking about, I mine up here. And I just created these uh, these shafts that go down the the length of it. And they're not, they're not quite uh, space apart equally, I kind of did one four over here and it's all over the joint, it's just something slapped together. I got one left over so I thought, why not put it, put it right here because, you know what, I'll put one down. And this will be too far away. Um, I need to make an escape hatch to kind of get out. Uh, just for the explosions, and we'll set them off, I guess. Um, like, they're gonna chain react, but I wouldn't mind just setting them all off in one big go, so. Let's do this. Trust me to uh, die an explosion that's created and controlled by myself. Um, 
we'll have to hurry and get back up here. That, I thought that was a creeper. <laughs> I've despawned already. The slimes of slits. It's a given thing. But let's see how this explosion did. Now. Did pretty well. Let's get back up to the top here. See if I can grab my stuff. I don't know where it was. Over here somewhere. Shit. Man, I'm not, I'm not the best at this. Alright, I'll find my stuff and then... <laughs> before I die again, and then we'll uh, go back out. Died again, guys, and I think I creeped up some of my stuff, or at least half of it. Man, I'm not having the best of luck. Alrighty, I'll be back again. Alright, got my stuff back, but all my, all my uh, other stuff. So it just despawned, like all the um, cobblestone, which is the stuff I was really after. It just despawned, so I was I literally a couple of seconds off getting my stuff back. So. I'm happy that I got it back. Um, I'm about to die again. This is, I need to light this place up a bit. And so yeah, so I'll do the laborious task of lighting it up. Um, Jesus, stuff everywhere. A lot of this cave, because it, it joins a um, a mine or so, a bed mine shaft that I, I previously already lit up. Um, so that's pretty cool that some of it's already lit up, but some of it, other stuff is not really lit up so well. Um, there's not much really can do, I'm just going to be continuing doing this, and um, episode is getting towards the end of the length, um, so I may draw it to an end here. But I'm pretty much going to be working most of this off, off camera, because it's a, lot, a lot of it's fairly boring, um, and it leads me to do the actual structure of it um, on camera. So what I'll do now is, I guess, um, until the next episode, just work, around, work on this and get it ready for the next episode so we can do the actual thing. So, um, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you like the uh, the Animate Farm. Uh, I can put a link in the description for DocHam's tutorial on that. Um, and, yeah, so thanks for watching. Delta Rat from the Zephyr Bros. See you guys.